Hi, and welcome to our Fast Track OneDrive for Business and SharePoint Drive Mapping Helper video. So we're going to show you with this video how you can roll out OneDrive for Business to all of your users with just a few settings in Fast Track. And also, we're going to do the same with SharePoint. And after that, we're going to show you how to dynamically map perhaps hundreds of departmental drives with just a single line of code. Before I start, I'd just like to explain the environment that we're working in on the test. So what you're looking at now is a fast track management system. So it's a Windows 10 system, I've downloaded fast track automation studio, we've run it, I've logged in as a domain user, which is important. The first thing to do is to set up the logon script, which involves simply copying fast track executable files and the script files to your um, network uh, sysfol share. Once the files are there, it doesn't actually do anything until you set your users to call out script when they log in. And that's generally done using a test OU that you might create. So I've got one here called Fast Track. I would then create a group policy for that OU. I would then edit that. And in the user configuration, I would go in and set the logon property to call fast track when users that were in that group policy log in. So that's been done. Any user in this fast track OU is now going to get a fast track when they log in. So the first thing I'm going to do is log in as a user. So the vanilla setting with fast track when you first fire it up really doesn't do anything at all. We're going to have a splash screen. Uh, we're going to put our company name in here and that's about it. So we're going to see what that looks like. So there's our splash screen. And that will be all. We haven't configured any drive maps or anything. So this is just a plain setup. So let us set up first our OneDrive mapping. It's very simple. We just hit the Add OneDrive button. We select the drive letter we want to use. We put in our tenant name and then a display name. We're going to leave that as OneDrive. We're going to hit OK. For conditions, we can set a number of conditions based on users, conditions, or OS, but I'm going to make sure that people in the OU of Fast Track I created earlier get this OneDrive mapping and save. That's it. So let's log in now as user 2. The user will log in now, and the first time they log in with this mapping, they're going to be shown a Office 365 pop up for authentication like this. So this is not a single sign-on setup and fast track from the latest version will support both ADFS, full-blown single sign-on or pass-through authentication, which is sort of like a slightly uh, easier to configure version of single sign-on that provides many of the benefits of ADFS. In this situation, we don't have single sign-on. If we had it, we wouldn't see the screen, but as we don't I have to type in my credentials. If I check the keep me signed in box, I won't be given this pop up next time. So you only see it once for most people. And there's my OneDrive. And that really is all there is to it to map your OneDrive to as many users as you like with Fast Track. I'd now like to move on to mapping SharePoint drives. SharePoint drive mapping is a little different than OneDrive in the respect that we have to supply FastTrack with a URL giving us the full context of the map and not just the tenant name. So I've got a mapping from our test SharePoint shared documents URL here. If I add my SharePoint drive, I can just set up a drive letter. So let's call it 
X. I put the SharePoint mapping in and the name will leave as SharePoint. Again, I'm going to set the OU to Fast Track and hit OK and then save. Done. So let's log in now as our IT user again. I'll still get my OneDrive map. There it is. But now I'm also going to get a SharePoint mapping as well. And there we have it. And that's all you need to do to map your SharePoint drive with FastTrack. You can see here that I have also created three folders within this root context. We've got finance and within finance is payroll. We have IT within that is help desk and within marketing we have online. So the reasons why I've created these folders, I want to show you an additional feature of FastTrack, which is how to create a dynamic mapping from FastTrack commands. And we do this by some, some sensible mirroring of our OU schema to match that of our Office 365 folder hierarchy. So if you can see here, my root context, I have a finance folder and in that I have payroll. So why not in your Active Directory create a finance OU and then within that a payroll OU. So if we stick to this schema, what we can do is I can actually create a drive mapping that says, take the parent OU of the last OU and inject that into this path and then take the last OU and inject that into the last path. And that means that I've created a fully dynamic and essentially unlimited scalability mapping that allows me to map departmental drives to pretty much as many departments as I like that I have mapped in my Active Directory schema. And that's all I have to do. So if I hit save there and I log out as my help desk user and I log back in as help desk user, this user will no longer see the root context of all the folders, but what they will see is just the help desk folder as the new root context for them. So they'll just see a mapping of help desk. And there it is. Likewise, I log out of this user. If I log in as online marketing, I should just see a drive mapping for online marketing. There's my OneDrive and there's my online marketing drive map. And finally, I have a payroll user here who's in finance. So they're going to get a drive mapping for payroll only. And there you have it. So I've created quite a powerful drive mapping system here, really just using one line of code. So this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed watching it and I'll see you soon. Thanks.